Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of April 4th through April 11th for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Mondays usually. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days, watch a different part of your chart, or even look around on Mondays because they're a different format every week. So there's a pick a card reading that I added um, somewhat recently, and that has three different readings. It's all energy, so that may be a good one to watch too if you haven't seen one of those yet. So let's begin and get the guidance for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know? What messages do you have for Cancer? All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot and then we'll use the Angel Answers Oracle cards here too. So you've got Strength, Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Magician, the Tower, the Queen of Swords, the Star. Wow, very powerful reading. I, God, this is amazing. It's really beautiful. You have here five major arcana out of eight cards. That's significant. There's a significant phase beginning an energy shift and it's fabulous. Um, somebody here, I feel like you are, you've gone through a pretty major breakthrough um, you know, and it's, it's like everything starts to come together here. So you've got here, you've got Leo, you've got Aquarius, you've got air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and you've got all the elements in the magician. So with the strength card, it really is about having a conquering spirit, whatever you've been through with the tower has given you something. And I know sometimes that's difficult, you know, when we say that things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Sometimes when we go through what feels like the dark night of the soul, we come to a place where we are able to access every single one of our gifts in a way that we could not before that. And it really is that opportunity to ask, you know, what, what do I need to become to have this? Because we won't keep what we aren't willing to become. So with this, it's overcoming some huge, huge situation here. Um, I do feel like there's there's love here. I mean, there's there's nice aspects really in every area of your life, especially as I look at this half of the reading. Um, it's really about feeling free, being liberated. It's revolutionary, you know, so there's nothing that you can't have. But with this, so I do feel like there's, if you've had a relationship or maybe somebody was sick in a relationship, I do feel like the healing is on the way here. And that may only be for like one person. Feels like it was a medical issue for somebody. Um, but again, it's it's overcoming this. You know, when you look at all the cards, the backgrounds are important, especially the yellow. It's a gift coming in. So there's infinite abundance with the strength card. And really, it's it's another, it really is another indication that suffering always turns out to be grace, no matter how bad we fight it. So the page of swords is communication coming in, and it may be something in, you've got communication really a few different times here. Um, it may be something through electronic methods with this page of swords. He's the internet spy. So that for some of you, it could be meeting somebody new online. And I know some of you are like, no way am I doing that. And that's okay. But you may be doing something else where you're, you know, you're in a group that of writers. Somebody's in a group of writers and the next thing you know that you're communicating with somebody and, and meeting up for coffee or it becomes this thing that's happening. Um, but I do feel like there's something about communication here, writing here that's important. And so with this page of swords, the only thing about him is he can be a little protective, right? He kind of stands as the lookout. And I feel like it's part of the recovery from the tower. Whatever that big upset was, whatever that big upheaval was, there's still a little bit of residual tension, you know, kind of that not quite able to completely relax, still keeping watch. Um, so the Nine of Cups, a beautiful energy. 
somebody's going to be on the receiving end of a gift here, you know, and it feels moving. It feels touching. It feels low, like an heirloom to me. It doesn't, it feels like something maybe from your family or something that somebody finds like in an antique store. It's, it feels old, um, but it is somebody's got, maybe again, that may be for a very small percentage of people here, being on the receiving end of this gift or discovering something too. Maybe if you thought you'd lost something important in your family or you just forgot about it, rediscovering that, coming across it in a box. I just get that. But I do feel like it brings a real smile to your face. It brings this feeling of connection on a deeper level. Um, and it may even be letters. I do see that too. I keep seeing this writing for some reason. So with the Nine of Cups, again, it's we've got wish fulfillment several times here. I mean, I could hold up half the cards here, but we've got wish fulfillment here. We've got victory and success here. You know, and then of course you've got that magician who I always love to see. So you're, you've got very nice aspects coming in here. So with the magician, you've you talked about transfer, transformational. It is truly a card of law of attraction, knowing that you are a magnet right now. You are in this place where you are, have very strong energy to, to create. So be aware of that because all these you know, flowers around him are manifestations from the garden of the mind that are being cultivated. And so it is about seeing things clearly, making things happen, communicating, but it may feel like it happens very suddenly. And you've got a, you've got a very strong, forceful, sudden energy throughout this reading. So it may feel like for a while, like your energy field, it's like all of a sudden, it's like every day there's this new push you know, and and you're you're going forward with great momentum here in a relationship, though. And if it's if it's new or you're already in something, there's great communication here. There's money, financial stability, and there's real love, and there's passion too. So it's a relationship that really both people are bringing a lot to the table, and um, and it moves forward. It's it's attracting something really beautiful here. So you feel like in this energy that you'll be able to accomplish anything you wish. You know, it's really when in the, in the deck, the soul meets the magician and the soul realizes that, um, that anything on this journey is within reach. There's nothing you can't have, do, or be. And the, the soul always wins. The soul is always victorious. So um, you've got the tower. Now, the tower is a huge shakeup. It's, I mentioned, it's the corporate raider. It's that thing that comes in, that energy. And oftentimes, quite frankly, we're, well, always we're manifesting this, but it comes from that heart space. There's something about a situation that's not a match. And no matter how much we try to stay complacent and just say it's just easier to stay in this than it is to leave, your heart whispers the truth and the universe hears it, especially with the magician being here. You, you're going to have no choice if this hasn't happened because you're putting this out there. Something in somebody's heart is not quite right. They're not quite right with something. And so the good news about the tower, though, is it comes in to knock down something on the ego level that is not the right situation to bring in something so much better because your heart will be heard. It won't just be, you won't be left in pain and rubble. It's all about allowing it. So as much as you can release the resistance and let this happen, you know, the problem is when these people don't jump from the building and they try to hang on for dear life, that's when the pain happens. We release this and then we're not in pain. But when we try to force it and force manifest, it is, um, you know, it, it's difficult. That's when the real suffering can set in. So the Queen of Swords, again, there's communication here. She brings in discernment too, though. So for some of you, whatever the ending is with the tower, it allows you to really see things clearly, see what you want, be on a life path that has meaning, that has purpose, and that you're not messing around. The only thing with the Queen of Swords, she can be incredibly caustic and sarcastic, and she is a little bitter. I mean, let's not, you know, let's not um, try to hide that. She's been through pain and she's a little pissed about it, but with this, so it can kind of give you that second, you know, breath, that second wind where you go, you know what, I'm doing this. I'm, I got this life here. I am living this life. I'm not going to sit here and wait for the next tower to happen. I create this reality and I do know I get what I expect. And so it's that kind of empowered energy. 
Now, the star is about self-care, but it is wish fulfillment too. It's definitely connecting on a deep spiritual level through meditation. Some of you may go to, you know, some kind of a spa or somewhere, a salt cave or something like that. Even I see somebody walking a labyrinth. It seems like it's almost like in a, a garden center or something, you know. It's somewhere like a public place that has a labyrinth and just meditating, quieting the mind, allowing your vibration to rise. And so with this, it's self-acceptance, it's self-mastery. And when you're in that energy field, the, you know, you're attracting things that are a match all the time. So there's good information showing up here, but there's also love. And in this kind of an energy field, it's a love that is very warm, romantic, compassionate. It's beautiful. And of course, you have the world here. Again, a card of self-mastery. This is Nirvana. She's the dancer of the tarot. She dances this in this wreath of victory and success. It is a new phase, a new cycle, and it's amazing. It's it's also, too, for some of you, there's travel indicated here. So if the tower took something from you that you never thought was going to end, here's your new opportunity, especially if it honestly felt like a little bit of an anchor. It was keeping you stuck, but you wouldn't acknowledge it. You're free. I mean, to, to have the great relationship, to have travel, to move to a new area, if that's what you want to do. And you're somebody here I do feel like wants wanted to move, and they wouldn't do it. And now it's like, well... You communicated that, and I feel like it's though somebody really gets this, like they get it, <coughs> excuse me, that it came from within, from a deep place within. So the world is beautiful. <coughs> excuse me. Um, allergy season, right, guys? So with the world, we end on that, on a beautiful note, and um, you've got a very powerful energy field here, though, Cancer, so allow it to be so. Allow yourself to be anything any possibility. There's nothing that separates you from anything you want, really, other than energy. It's just coming into alignment with the right energy. And I know sometimes it's like, yeah, I get it, but that's not always the easiest thing in the world. I get it, but um, it's the human ego that tells us it's difficult. <clears throat> All right, we have here, if you believe, this card comes up so much. You know, ask, believe, receive. That's the three-step equation. It's That's really, and Abraham Hicks teaches five steps, but this is really the crux of it. Knowing what you want, knowing you can have it, and allowing it to be so. You've got helpful people here. So for those of you, again, there's a big transformation here. And some of you, honestly, somebody in the past who, who may have created that tower or contributed to it, they may be your best teacher yet. And so allow that to be so. Allow them to be seen on the soul level as just another soul and not, not something that was a malevolent force necessarily. You've got recovery here. So whatever the tower is, you're getting put back together here. You've got the recovery coming in. And you've got within the next few weeks. So things are moving forward for you here, Cancer, for sure. And you've got a yes, all right? So things are coming together there's definitely love here. There's commitment and there's a new opportunity big time. So good things are coming for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.